Hi, and welcome to Technology Wizard. This week we're going to be looking at the EVH51503 Microstack Mini Amp. I bought this for about 79 Australian dollars, which is around 56 US dollars. For a small amp, this doesn't do too bad, but I do have some issues regarding it, which I'll get into later. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so let's have a look here, um, see what we got. Good the controls and features, the EVH label. 5150 label, got the input jack on the left, the gain, got the volume knob, the tone control, and the power. Very nice laid out amp, very well designed. It's basically, it looks like someone just shrunk down a um, EVH full stack. Um, so we got the input jack, so that's basically for your headphones and DC power if you don't want to run on batteries, which is a nice um, addition, especially the phone so you can hear yourself. Um, got the label here, I don't know if you can see that, but um, made in China. Um, so got the Micro stack and the EVH logo there too, and you've got this little thing here. It's a um, a bracket that you can um, hold the amp up so you can push it down, and then you've got the battery compartment here. So you've got a battery compartment that runs on a single nine volt battery. And that's about it on that one. A very nice looking amp, and um, well worth getting for the for the money. Now at this point, I will show you how it sounds, but I currently do not have a working microphone to record this with, as PC speakers will not do it justice. That will need to be done in a part two video in weeks to come. Now let's hear my final verdict on this amp. The amp itself is very good, light, and portable. It can do clean tones. But I notice the longer you play the amp, it will get gruntier, even with gain turned off. On the other hand, when the gain is full, the speaker can turn static and cut off. It also doesn't go very loud. I know it's a stupid thing to complain about considering the size, but I've also owned a Laney Mini Linehart, and that had considerable amount of volume for the same size. The detail on this is very good. When not being played, it is an excellent showpiece. Portability is great and can easily be carried around for a busking session or party times. Definitely worth getting your hands on, but perhaps not at full price. I would wait until it is on sale or even go for the Laney Mini Lionheart, as stated before. That's all from me today, so let's wrap this up. Great for chugging, but not really for the clean tones. You may want to try before buying. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back next week. In the meantime, if you liked what you saw, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, let me know in the comments why. And don't forget to subscribe to be notified when I upload new content. See you next time.